today I'm going to give you three thoughts on Psalm 41 through 5. Now, if you're reading through the Bible with us, today's reading is Psalm 39 through 41. So if you haven't read that yet, go ahead, pause the video, and read that now and come right back. It's okay. We'll wait. Okay, now that you've finished reading that, let's read Psalm 40, verses 1 through 5. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. David starts that psalm by saying he waited patiently on the Lord, and that's something that all of us need to do, is wait on the Lord. Here are three thoughts why we should wait on the Lord. The first thought is this, the Lord has his own schedule. See, David was looking for vindication, but vindication wasn't happening exactly at the time that he wanted. No, the Lord does what he does, on his own timeline, according to his own schedule. And he is not beholden to us to do things the way we want when we want them. The Lord has his own schedule and his schedule is perfect and our schedule is not. And that's something that we need to follow in David's footsteps on is wait on the Lord because the Lord has his own schedule. That's thought number one. Thought number two is that the Lord is gracious to his people. All throughout the Bible, particularly in the Psalms, we hear again and again about the steadfast love of God, how he pours out his blessing on his people, on how he's gracious to them because they are his. In fact, this idea of graciousness is all wrapped up in this idea that we don't deserve any of the good stuff God gives to us. The Lord is gracious to his people, and because he's gracious to us, we can patiently wait on him. Because we know that ultimately he's bringing about his purposes, and in his purposes he is kind to us. He is gracious to us, and he gives us over and above what we could ever possibly deserve or earn or merit. So that's thought number two. The Lord is gracious to his people. And thought number three, I want you to take from Psalm 40 verses one through five is this. We proclaim the Lord's wonders. David waited on the Lord. He waited on the Lord for his vindication. He waited on the Lord for the Lord's blessing because he trusted because he knew that the Lord is gracious to his people. And because the Lord is gracious to his people. He proclaimed the Lord's wonders over and over again. And that's something that we need to do as God's people, as we wait on the Lord, is proclaim his wonders, is remind ourselves and others of all the good things that God has done in the past, as we look forward to all the great things that God will do in the future. So those are the three thoughts that I wanted to share with you from Psalm 40, verses 1 through 5. One, the Lord has his own schedule, so we need to wait on him. Two, the Lord is gracious to his people, so we can wait on him. And three, we proclaim the Lord's wonders as we wait on him. 